Do you know what a primate is? Can you identify them? Let's try. So, is it a primate? Yes, this is a test. Here's our first one. Is this a primate? What characteristics do you notice? If you answered yes, you would be correct. This is Cockerel Shafaka or Propithecus Cockerelli. Um, you can tell this is a primate. Look at those forward facing eyes. This lemur does have a relatively longer snout than many other primates, but if you compare it to say a dog, it is much shorter. You also see there aren't many whiskers going on. Here's our second one. Is this a primate? What traits do you use to back up your answer? This one is not a primate. This is a tree shrew from genus Tupaya. Notice it has a relatively long snout there and look, its eyes are on the side of its head. They are not forward facing like we see in other primates. Here's our next one. What do you think? Again, look at what traits you can use as evidence to back up your answer. This is a primate. This is the snub-nosed monkey or Rhinopithecus roxolana. This is one of my favorites. They are so colorful, though I'm never quite sure if they are cute or if they look like demon skull babies. Here's our next one. Is it a primate? Again, look for different traits that you can use to say it is or isn't a primate. This is a Dermoptera, a Sunda flying lemur or Galeopteris variegatus. So you can see, again, has a slightly longer snout. Eyes are on the side of its head, not completely facing forward. You can also see there's a little bit of that flap in between its legs there, and that's what it uses to glide. Here's our next example. What do you think, primate or not? This one is a primate. This is the owl monkey in genus Aeotis. There are a couple different species here. I love their glowing orange eyes and their different markings on their face. I find these ones are so beautiful. These are one of the few nocturnal anthropoid primates. Here's our next one. Are these primates? If you said yes, you would be correct on both counts. That tiny little one there is the pygmy mouse lemur or Microcebus myoxenus. That is the smallest primate ever. And of course, that's Shaq. He's one of us. I am so charmed by this photo shoot. I really want to know the backstory. Um, the rest of this photo shoot is just precious. Shaq looks so excited to meet this tiny little pygmy mouse lemur who I can only imagine is honored. Thank you, Shaq, you're a national treasure. Here's our next one. Is this a primate? Again, look for the different traits you can use as evidence. This one looks strange, but it is a primate. This is the II or Dalbentonia madagascariensis. Half primate, half demon baby. Um, these guys look a little bizarre. Um, one of the reasons the II is endangered is some of the local tribes kill them on site because in their uh, local culture, they are considered a bad omen. Um, IIs um, have a unique adaptation where their middle finger is especially elongated so they can tap on trees to hear for termites. Um, it is a unique feeding adaptation and it's perpetually giving everyone the bird. For our next one, are these primates? Of course. So in that mirror there, we have a chimpanzee or pan paniscus. And in, right there, we have one of my undergraduate professors. That is Dr. Thomas Sherry, one of us homo sapiens. For our last one, is this a primate? He wants to be, but of course, this is not. This is the domestic cat or felis catus. So remember, as we're going through all of these examples, 
Yes, you do want to be able to say, yes, it's a primate, or no, it's not, but make sure you're looking for the different traits. Can you name specific characteristics to justify it is or isn't a primate? It also always helps to know your primates when you're doing this, but the most important thing is to be able to justify your answer.